Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus versus iPhone 5S speed test coming up right now. Let's go. So, what is up, guys? This is Nick here from Everything Tech Help You to Master Your Technology, and welcome to the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus versus the Apple iPhone 5S speed test. Now, let me make this clear right out of the gate, right at the beginning of this video. Of course, the S8 Plus is the latest flagship smartphone from Samsung. It's way out of the league of the Apple iPhone 5S in terms of specifications and stuff like that. The only reason I'm making this video is with the intentions of people who have 5S, they're thinking about one day upgrading to a Galaxy S8 Plus. Maybe you're a younger person, maybe a teenager or something like that. Your parents are going to get this for you as a gift or maybe the small S8, or maybe you just, you're just someone out there who's got a 5S. You said, I've had enough of using this older smartphone and I've just been putting off getting a new smartphone. I'm ready to jump to Samsung and try out the Galaxy S8 series. And this is what I want to show you how much of an improvement you're going to get from the 5S to the Galaxy S8 Plus. So let's begin the speed test with a boot up test of both devices in three, two, and let's go. And the 5S does rock a 4-inch display. It's got an A7 chipset, 1 gigabyte of RAM, and the Galaxy S8 Plus, obviously a 835 CPU with 4 gigabytes of RAM and a Monster Infinity display that comes in at 6.2 inches on the rounded corner, 6.1 inch on the rectangle. So if you get the S8, it's a 5.0-inch display, and you can see the S8 Plus way ahead of the 5S in the boot up as expected there. It actually beat the 7 Plus in the boot up test as well so it's no surprise that it just destroyed the apple iphone 5s here so we're just gonna wait on the 5s here a little bit longer and there is the 5s so the 5s definitely behind in terms of boot up speed it is getting old it's getting a little bit slow although it still performs and functions pretty well from day-to-day -day tasks now both the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus and the Apple iPhone 5S are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. Everything is closed out here. And for those of you who watch the channel consistently and did not find this video for the first time off search, I wanna let you guys know that I did get an update for the Galaxy S8 Plus, which has improved multitasking, which I was talking about in a couple other videos. So the S8 Plus should in fact smoke the 5S. So let's see what happens here. Facebook is first and the S8 Plus well ahead, and we're still waiting on the 5S. So you've seen you are getting a drastic increase in terms of Facebook. Let's go into Instagram, and you could see huge increase over the 5S there. Let's go into Twitter and the S8 Plus. And as a matter of fact, let me put this in high performance mode as we continue here for the Galaxy S8 Plus. It's only fair here, as the iPhone 5S without low battery power mode runs in its peak performance. Let's go into YouTube here, and you can see Galaxy S8 Plus. Looks like Juan Bagnell just put up a real camera review. Shout out to Juan Bagnell. Coming home here, let's go into Best Buy. And you could see right there, Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus, well ahead of the 5S. Got a little hair there. And the 5S, you better get out of here, you little hair. Get off the video. Nobody's trying to look at you hair. Okay, let's come out of here. And let's go into Uber. And you should see well ahead here. So, I mean, this is pretty much going to be the story across the board. The 5S just cannot compete with the Galaxy S8 Plus in terms of speed. And we're showing it here. I mean, the Galaxy S7 was faster by a lot than the 5S. So, let's go into Play Store. So, I wouldn't expect this to be any different here. So, for those of you out there who think that, you know, Android devices cannot compete with Apple... This just goes to show you that actually they're really close to the latest and greatest Apple devices and they just absolutely smoke the older ones. So you can see right there, even with all these pop-ups, the S8 Plus was still faster to open play newsstand. Let's go into Temple Run and let me turn down the volume here. And you could see about the same there. Actually, the Galaxy S8 Plus was first there to open Temple Run. Let's go into Dead Trigger, which I would expect the S8 Plus to open at first. Looks like I missed it there on the 5S. Let's do that one more time. And then let me know if you guys want to see a full gaming comparison between these two guys. Because I am getting gaming comparisons scheduled between the S8 and other phones. Maybe you guys want to see a separate gaming showdown between the 5S and the Galaxy S8 Plus here. 
So you can see the 5S is no, it's no punk in terms of gaming, but it just can't keep up with the Galaxy S8 Plus here. So let's go ahead and close that one more time. And I do want to run Dead Trigger one more time, in fact, just due to the fact that it did have that hiccup in terms of the loading. So let's go to Dead Trigger. And you could see, looks like the 5S actually kept up decent there. So we might have to test this a little further in terms of gaming. Let's go to Jetpack Joyride. And you could see, looks like the Galaxy S8 Plus well ahead of the 5S. So I would expect the Galaxy S8 Plus to win in gaming. So Samsung really stepped it up here in terms of gaming on their devices. Let's go into settings. And you can see the Galaxy S8 Plus is top of the line in terms of speed. Let's go into speed test. And you can see speed test opens first there for the 5S. So speed test has been struggling here on the Galaxy S8. I don't know what's up with that, but that's the only app that's been struggling. It's been struggling in all my comparison videos. Let's go into apple.com here for the Galaxy S8 Plus. And let's go into apple.com here for the Apple iPhone 5s here let's go on apple.com come on 5s small keyboard let's get it and go and you could see apple.com there does load first for the s8 plus now apple.com did win on the other more powerful iphone such as the 7 plus so the samsung doesn't have the quickest browser in the world so even with the s8 plus i still think safari is king on like stuff like the iphone 7 and 7 plus and maybe the iphone 8 coming up later this year so let's hit go and you could see Galaxy S8 Plus wins on Samsung.com. It couldn't even open that page there for the 5S. So definitely a win in terms of Safari and the internet browser on the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. So definitely a win there for the Samsung internet browser versus Safari on the 5S. So let's go ahead and run some multitasking here on both devices now to see if the Samsung can hold those apps as I said it was doing earlier as I tested it with the new update. Let's check them out here in this video. And you could see, no, the S8 is actually surprising me here. I had to reopen Facebook. Let's go into Instagram. And looked about the same. Let's come home here. Let's go into Twitter. So maybe they didn't fix the multitasking 100%. You can see right there, Twitter did win there for the S8 Plus. And now the S8 Plus again. Let's come home. Let's go into Best Buy. And you can see the 5S, even though it's old, it's still a champ at multitasking. Let's go into Uber. You can see about even there. Let's go into Wikipedia about even there let's come home let's go into app store play store surprising and multitasking iphone 5s nice stuff pinterest you see on the iphone 5s to reload that so let's say gets the win so i think generally overall the s8 is winning here in multitasking but not by as much as you would think coming home here let's go into temple run both ready to go let's go into dead trigger so i'm sure a lot of iphone 5s users are watching this right now and they're saying i'm so happy with my phone it performs so well for being so old and this is true, it does perform pretty well. It's just not the quickest phone anymore. It's just really good in RAM management though. Let's go into Jetpack Joyride. And you could see both have to reload that, but the S8 gets the win. So I think the S8 has one more of the applications here on the RAM management um, settings right there. Looked about the same. But this is pretty much a draw here overall because they're, they're trading blows for who's opening the applications first on RAM management. Let's go into internet. You could see about the same. So I'm going to call the RAM management. Honestly, I'm going to call it a draw there based on that test. That pretty much wraps the speed test up of the Galaxy S8 Plus versus the iPhone 5S. I'm not going to go too more in depth here in this video. I haven't had the Galaxy S8 Plus more than 48 hours to give a full comparison between these guys. If you guys would like to see a full comparison of the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus versus the iPhone 5S, maybe should I buy the S8 Plus or should I upgrade from the 5S, let me know down below. But I can tell you based on my first impressions, this is a monster upgrade over the iPhone 5S. Everything about it is pretty much a better smartphone than the 5S sans the portability. The 5S still is a very portable phone, but you know, Samsung really hit this one out of the park with the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please go ahead, click the like button for me down below in the description area of this video. Comment your thoughts. What did you think about this? Do you think the 5S still performs well? Do you think the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus is really just beating everything on the market right now? Let's talk about that down below in the comment section. Leave your feedback, suggestions, subscribe to the channel for more tech videos like this. Nick here, I'll be the master of your technology. Be sure to be well and peace.